in a historic move, the bipartisan January 6th committee voting to recommend criminal charges against former President Donald Trump and others. The committee's criminal referrals carry no legal weight, but they are another stain on the former president's record. As Wake Up Charlotte's Bree Jackson reports, it was all part of the panel's final meeting. Ben, former President Donald Trump was the first U.S. president to be impeached twice. Now he's also the first American president that Congress has referred for potential criminal prosecution. <laughs> Nearly two years after former President Trump's supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol, the House committee investigating the attack made an historic call for accountability, referring Mr. Trump to the Department of Justice for criminal prosecution. We've never had a president of the United States stir up a violent attempt to block the transfer of power. This was an utter moral failure and a clear dereliction of duty. Committee members urging DOJ to consider four criminal charges, obstruction of an official proceeding, conspiracy to defraud the United States, conspiracy to make a false statement, and inciting or assisting an insurrection. If the Justice Department uh, concurs with that assessment and with the evidence, um, then he should be prosecuted like any other American. The January 6th panel also unveiling new evidence, including a recent interview with Trump's longtime aide, Hope Hicks. He said something along the lines of, um, you know, nobody will care about my legacy if I lose. Um, so that won't matter. Um, the only thing that matters is is winning. Former President Trump, who already announced plans to run for president again in 2024, slamming the committee during a radio interview. We have uh, all Democrats and Republicans in very poor standing, two of them. I mean, wait, the yeah. whole thing. It's a yeah. kangaroo court. What can I say? And further blasting the panel's work on social media, calling it a partisan attempt to sideline him and the Republican Party. The January 6th committee also released a 154 page summary of its findings and plans to release a full report on Wednesday, which will include legislative recommendations. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson for Wake Up Charlotte.